Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. It is Wednesday, and yes, that means we bring back the one and only Matt, the mortgage guy. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. I wore a purple shirt. I got a purple <laughs> background. God, we are just, we are aligned, brother. <laughs> Our brands are in sync. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Hey, uh, one thing I wanted to do is I got a lot of questions from our conversation last week about Barry Habib's prediction, right? We, we spent a lot, a lot of time talking about Barry Habib's the man. He's won this crystal ball award multiple times. He, just very good at what he does. And then we talked about his prediction, which was, hey, rates are going to go up in the short term, but they're ultimately going to roll over and go down. And then we kind of ended the interview. People are like, well, what does that mean? So I thought maybe we, <laughs> should, we should break it down a little bit for people. And, and I don't know, has Barry changed his opinion at all? No. And, you know, that uh, came out. And I think me and you add a little bit of our own color to it. Maybe rates go up a little bit higher, a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. And so when they when they retract, if and when they do, it's to a higher point than, than maybe he had predicted. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, for, for quick recap for anybody, you know, we talked about um, all the stuff that the Fed's going to do currently. And they've already talked about, you know, tapering and and, and once they're they're done tapering, actually hiking up the Fed funds rate, rates go up. And what Barry was saying, what we talked about previously, is once uh, you know measures are put in place to fight inflation and inflation comes down, um, then we're going to see mortgage rates go back down. Yeah. And uh, you know, I, I, I don't recall what it was like offhand specifically, but you know, he was talking about rates going up to three point seven five, but then maybe towards the end of twenty two, coming back down to three. Yeah. And that's, and that's the key that I want to talk about. Cause again, I don't agree with them, but again, he's got the awards. I don't, he does this for a living. I don't. So, you know, Hey, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with him. <laughs> so, so to me though, right. So the fed does its thing. It does its little happy dance rates get all the way up to 3.75 and then they roll over and they get back down to three. To me, that's a fast turnaround, right? We're talking about 11 and a half months. And again, I was trying to think, you know, based on the questions where I'm like, well, what would really cause that? Well, I think the only answer is, I don't know if it's an official recession, meaning two negative quarters, but it certainly means a slowdown of, of probably epic proportions. I mean, that's a, I mean, that, I mean, right today, they're, the mortgage rate's like 3.3 .3 or 3.51 or something. To right. That. Yeah. And over the last week, we've seen it, you know, go up faster than most people thought. I don't mm -hmm. think anybody predicted what, you know, the last week and a half that would go from three and a quarter to, I think on one of these, um, you know, national surveys of rates, it's like 3.64 on a yeah. 30 year. Um, and so, you know, up faster than most people thought. And so if, you know, we see Q1 into Q2, 4%, which I don't think is that, we're not that far away. We're, no, we're, we're, really, we're really not that far away. Then, uh, you know, if and when that comes, I think me and you agree that it it would feel really fast yeah. to see that, you know, retraction of rates happen this year, because I agree with you as well, we're going to end the year with an inflation number that's still four or 5%. I, I don't know what your guesstimate yeah. was, but I think I've listened to enough of your stuff where, you know, we're not going to go from seven to two. No chance. This year, no chance. Right. No chance. Um, and so, so I agree with that, that like, if, if it plays out how Barry talked about and a humongous fan of Barry, follow oh, Barry yeah. forever. I've paid for his advice for years. So that tells you something. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I see it playing out, but maybe it's a 24 month or a, a 30 month window versus a 12 month. Yeah, that's, that's exactly my thing. I think, I think Barry was onto something just for me at 20, added that in 22, right? That full cycle up and down in a, in a calendar year just feels, feels rushed. And I'm almost concerned what it would mean for the broader economy if, if that were to happen, right? Yeah, I mean, it almost needs to be a, a huge, you know, downturn recession. Yeah, like retraction. For that stuff to play out, right. Yeah, right. that quick. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. And again, I actually, every Wednesday, the more, as you know, the Mortgage Backers Association puts out their notes. And I just happened to look at them this morning. Last week, 3.33. This week, 3.52. That's almost a 20 basis points move. And and you know what, Mike? I think when they put it out on Wednesday, they're talking about last Friday. Oh, geez. So, so that even... three point that 3.52 is <laughs> is is closer to 3.64. And wow. you know, it's 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 been 
red candle after red candle. Right. Um, it's that, that's 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 probably a whole another topic where you know it's going to take consumers a while of me showing them a three six two five and going, wait wait no 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 I just saw on an advertisement two nine nine. Yeah, you saw that three or four weeks ago, and that was paying a point. Today's you know rates you're 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 in the mid threes on a prior residence unless you plan on paying points, and then of course you know the two nine nine's always available. It's going to be available. It's just going to cost you more. Yeah, prepay. That's what that's uh, again the fact that we talk weekly. The fact that people can go back to your playlist on my channel and see that we were talking six weeks ago about like it, lock it. Uh, the fact that we were talking about extracting dead equity at 3%. Now, if you were going to do to it, it's much more costly. I just love the fact that we do this weekly. Uh, I don't know about you, but I think rates go higher from here. So again, you may 3.52 or 3.62 might feel high. I want to remind you that I've done deals north of seven. Um, so again, 3.62 kind of feels okay. I fact just did an office refi at 3.99. So yeah, pretty crazy. Yeah. I mean, I, th I think too, the, the thing about it is I hear very often in my seat talking to consumers day in and day out. Nah, it's a little bit high. I think I'll wait. Yeah. That hasn't worked out. And, and, and I just honestly don't believe it's going to, you know, as much as I love Barry and it might play out over two or three years, mm -hmm. and we might see a retraction. If we go to four and a quarter, and then that stuff plays out and we retract to three and a half, you're by, right back where you started today. Yeah. And by the way, we might go up and never come back. Just like anybody who was talking in 2018 and somebody said, oh, I wouldn't buy now, it's pretty frothy. Mm -hmm. House prices are high, don't buy now. We most likely never see 2018 home prices ever again, right? Mm -hmm. We're already 40, 50% above that um, in most markets. And even with a large correction that nobody sees except for a few YouTube channels out there, <laughs> we, we, we're not going back. <laughs> no, we're not going back. Yeah. So again, this, when I, when I look at, when I, so again, Barry's prediction up and then down inside of a 12 month period, to me, the way we get there is frankly a fed induced accident meaning gdp contraction maybe not an official recession because it's not two quarters in a row uh, but gdp consumers are hit um yeah that, that basically that means that because i think right now powell is trying to be paul volcker he's trying to be tough i'm going to beat inflation give me my job back for four years right he, he told he was trying to get um confirmed yesterday or having his meeting and um i don't think he can go back on that I don't, I don't think he can be Paul Volcker one week and then go be green, Greenspan the next week. I think that's a very bad look. Yeah, I think he's already uh, had his, his uh, mistakes and blunders and you yeah. know, calling stuff transitory. He doesn't, he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't want to keep making mistakes and making headlines for the wrong reasons. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, folks, uh, if you saw last week's episode, thank you for bringing your questions. You help with this topic. Uh, if you are looking to buy, get qualified, perhaps you're one of the few left that could refi. I strongly suggest Matt, the mortgage guy. He's a part of my uh, private Facebook group, part of the course. He's even created free content, bonus section for the course, how to read a mortgage statement, mortgage proposal, things of that nature. How do you want people to reach out? Go to greatmortgagebroker.com. We've created a simple form. Makes it really easy for you. Just a few quick questions. Who you are, where you're at, how we can get a hold of you, how we can help, and we'll be in touch very shortly. Very cool, man. Thanks again. Yeah, thanks, Mike.